In this video, I will show you how to account for withholding tax in zero using the illustration between business A and business B as we started in the blog post. Now, assuming business B is paying business A for rent, business B is expected to deduct 10% withholding tax based on what we have seen in the chart above and remit same to either the State and Revenue Service or the FRS, depending on what kind of business structure business A has. Now, let's assume business A is a company. Therefore, I will show you how this can be um, accounted for in zero. So first, for all zero users, you know one of the cardinal rules is that we replicate all bills that we have from manual into zero. Um, so let's first replicate the bill that um, A, business A, will have sent to business B, demand them for rent. Now, there are two ways to get to bill, to get to your bills, you know. It's either you get to the bill through the account and go to your purchases or go through the, the plus sign and go to the bill directly. So let's use the option two to go to the bills directly. Now, in option two, assuming we are going to pay the rent, um, business A is actually the business, the trading name is called City Agency. Uh, we need to put in the date, which is today that we're making the video. Uh, maybe the expected payment date is 28th of um, October. Now, since we are also using Naira, we're using a demo account, let's put the Naira, the Naira currency. And it says you're paying rent for January to December 2017. And it's 1 million Naira. That will be classified straight to your rent account. Um, I think I passed it. Okay, as a rent account. Now, it is not one of those uh, transactions which you can, um, should I say, recover your VAT from. So we we'll put it at um, tax, zero tax on other purchases. Now, this is where the magic is. Withholding tax. Now, let's also accrue for the withholding tax on it. Now, how much is withholding tax on 1 million naira? To calculate it, first you must note that the invoice you got represents an 100% inclusive of the withholding tax. Sometimes your suppliers can say that the invoice you got is exclusive of withholding tax or all taxes. But the scenario I'm painting here is assuming that the 1 million is inclusive of all the taxes. Therefore, to get the withholding tax element, you have to do 5 divided by 105 times 1 million. So, therefore, your withholding tax element, you saw it, is 47619.5. To the nearest figure. So now for here, what you're going to put is minus 47 619.05. And in the account column, you go and put if you have set it up, if you have set up a liability, current liability account for your withholding tax liability. Now, what I've done here is to set up current liability for both withholding tax on, on individuals if I'm dealing with an enterprise and withholding tax liability from company. In this case, I said I'm dealing with the company. And by the time I do that, it means that once I approve this bill, the amount that I need to pay company A is 952380.90. 
Now let us approve it. Now, if you want to check, you can actually check for where in your balance sheet to check where, it's, where, where the withholding tax element has gone into. And if we check for your current liability, you can see though um, zero because it's on um, um, dollar, zero has converted it to dollar. But if you click on it, it's going to show you where it's from. I should have clicked on the figure. Sorry about that. Uh, I should have clicked on the figure. Now, clicking on the figure, I'm going to show you that you can see this is the withholding tax we did on the agency. And that is it. So, ladies and gentlemen, so by the time you pay off the withholding tax, um, the uh, agency, city agency, which is representative.